Hey there, everybody. Robert Taylor with Wonderscape Creations, continuing on with our ACF Ultimate series, specifically with dialogue and questing. Uh, so a brief, quick update on one thing before we go into the dialogue. While I was doing uh, some more research and preparing for us creating our own uh, char NPC character for dialogue purposes, I came uh, across... Um, a mistake that I made. Uh, so here in my gate, uh, you saw that I had the ACF quest target component. But if you do the BP one, then the work that I did for um, getting the binding is no longer necessary. And it will get rid of the uh, the marker at that point. So th that's that's the secret there, is getting the, the right quest target component. So go ahead and close that. So now we are going to make our own NPC. So if we right click here, again, you can get this uh, NPC in blueprints if you need it. Um, otherwise, if you have ultimate and you uh, have these features, you can come over here into ACF AI and you can either get generic NPC or generic AI character. I can't remember which one this is. So we're going to click on this uh, so that we can find the ACF. I'm just going to type it here. A-C-F-A-T-S. So A-C-F-A-T-S underscore NPC BP. We're going to hit, hit OK. And I'm going to name this guy A-C-F underscore Carl underscore BP. So everyone say hello to Carl. We are going to set up a couple things with Carl so that we can make sure that everything works as far as dialogue goes. So let's go ahead and open up our Carl. And the, here, actually, this. We need to come over here into the components and find the ACF dialogue component BP. So dialogue camera event, we haven't gone over the camera stuff yet. Um, so this is where you would change it if you wanted a unique camera event. And we're gonna go ahead and get the dialogue widget class, which is, here if I do this, the same for everyone. But this is how you change it if you want to change it, because there's an older one right here. You have as many as you want. And here is where we change the participant's name. Not here. If you click on the character, you scroll down a little bit. Dude, that's not the character name that's being looked for. It's this one. Right here, participant name. We're going to name him Carl. And we don't have a guy named Carl in the participant tag. So I'm going to get my delete table here. Stuff that I'm not going to keep. You can hit the plus icon. And from there, I am going to name this character.carl. Now, when I come over here and I look for Carl, there he is. We now have Carl. If you have your own participant icon, you can get it. Voice, spawn, socket, name. Uh, so, very convenient if you have your characters talking. That's where the audio will spawn from. And now, we need to create our very first dialogue. So, again, right-click, come to the ACF Tools, and we come to the dialogue graph. Ooh. So it is ADS, Ascent Dialogue. I don't know what the S is. Probably System. And then we're going to name it Carl. Now let's open up his dialogue. Now that I'm going to utilize there it is 
the dialogue that was made uh, that I made with the leveling one uh, because again not my strong suit but I understand that I'm further along than uh, anyone that's new and probably several others so first we're gonna right click and select the start the green one so we know that it's start and set participation uh, participant tag we're going to go ahead and select the participant tag and name it Carl. Select that. And then give it whatever text you want. All right, next thing we're gonna do, you can either drag out to get this or right click to do so. Uh, you want to get the response node. Well, you don't have to. You, you can also make it another one of the um, the chain nodes, but it, it could get quite complicated. So first we're gonna go ahead and do this. We have the player. Now what do we want the player to say? Well, Maybe you would if you weren't missing an eye. Rude, right? Then I'm going to drag out of another one. It's the player. Here. Let me help you. So we have these two options here. And as you can see, uh, you can set it up to where once uh, this starts, and then I believe it's, yes, once you select one of these activation actions, so something activates if you needed to. Uh, additionally, you have sound to play and animations, uh, which allows you to have the animations of your dream when it comes to narration. Uh, so it's really just completely and totally up to you. Uh, so the next thing we are going to do, I'm going to drag out of here to get a response. Nope. Silly me. Drag out of here to get the dialog node. Participant tag. You want Carl. Ooh, I need to check this to make sure I didn't put car. Okay. All right. So for Carl here, we're going to, um, for this one, say, well, that was just rude. If I didn't need your help, I'd, oh, scream at you. And then we can drag in here again. Make sure we get ourselves a Carl here. Thank you, my good friend. So this is currently all we have. And if we go ahead and hit save, and we hit play, now as you can see, we can talk to Carl. Auto wrap text. What did I miss? Let's find out. Arguably the most important thing, we didn't give Carl his dialogue. So let's go ahead and uh, give that to him. What happens when uh, you're goofing around with Carl? Go ahead and hit play. That's right, I was too close. There we go. When you select that, hit continue to leave. Talk to him again. Here, let me help you. Thank you, my good friend. Look at that. We now have the beginnings of our conversation. 
And that is, that's literally how simple all of this is. Now you can always have conditions uh, that need to be met. So having an item in your inventory, if we go ahead and get a plus sign here, you can have or conditions and conditions. Ignore those, those were just for the leveling guy. Has an item in inventory. This is a basic condition, there's nothing there. Is mission completed? Is an objective complete? Uh, completed? Is in object objective condition. So okay. So are you in the correct objective uh, in your uh, quest? Is target of any quest condition? Good to know. So these are what's there. Obviously, you can uh, create your own. Uh, we're not going to go heavily and deeply into that because that's very much user case. And honestly, it's not something I've messed with much. Uh, but you can go through these, uh, the BP ones, to see what was done to get some ideas on getting your conditions set up. So that was the very basics of having all of this happen. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'm going to try to have the next episode be adding a third person into the conversation, and we will see how it goes. Uh, thank you uh, again for your support. Please make sure you like and subscribe. If you're willing and able, uh, you can go ahead and buy me a coffee or join me on my Patreon. Have a great day.